Hey everybody, this is Alessandro Camprota and today I'm going to show you how can you make your face animation much more organic. You see, most of the time when you animate your face, uh, it doesn't look very organic. As you can see here, for example, on the smile, I'm only moving this part of the, uh, of the face, the lower area. It's not really affecting the rest of it, okay? And this is like a mistake you see quite often. Um, and you know, it also depends on the rig, to be honest. Some rigs are really well done, really complicated and advanced. So for example, as long as you move a single controller, it's gonna affect the rest of the face. But when we don't have the luxury of that, especially if you're downloading a rig from uh, internet or something, um, you don't have this, uh, this great deformation, so you have to compensate with the, all the other controller. So as you can see here, even when the eyebrows are going up, you know, they're, they're not affecting the leads and anything. So today I'm gonna show you how you can make it much more believable and much more organic. Okay, so let's start with the first smile. First thing I'm gonna do is usually compress the face expression a little bit higher, okay? Use the jaw maybe. And I use also this one because it makes the face a little bit more organic with a little bit of squashy stretch. Then other things I want you to do guys is use this uh, roll value to actually pull back a little bit the lips because you see when you when you're smiling the, the lips actually are closing closing in and you can push it a little bit back as well another little, little trip I want to give you guys if you if you still feel like there is not a lot of contrast from the previous post to the new one you see I'm already feeling much better actually but if you want even more and you don't want to push this inside too much because it's gonna look too too crazy what you can do you can go to the previous post and actually push it to the opposite direction, okay? So the contrast will feel a little bit higher, okay? You see? You see how much deformation you're getting here right now. And and it's up to you, of course, how, how much you wanna push it. Depends if you're gonna hold this pose very, you know, uh, very long or not, you know, it depends a lot of, uh, from a lot of things, to be honest. And here, again, you can Draw out the lips a little bit more. Okay. See how it's, they're going in? It's kind of nice feelings. You want to push this one a little bit higher. Okay. And another thing you have to consider, you want to push always those deformation depending how close is the camera to the character. If the camera camera is right here, you can push it until a certain point, okay? Maybe if you're really close like this, maybe you want to reduce all those deformations because they're going to look too much. So you also want to consider that. So let's start with the chick here. Um, you want to push it up a little bit outside and have the puff, okay? You have to understand this, when the, when the mouth is going up, you want to see the compression, this, the squash here on the, on the cheek. Okay, and maybe even the nose going up slightly. So now that we have this nice deformation, you see the lower part is start to feel good, but here on the, on the eyes there is nothing. So what you want to do as well, is having this compression here. And by the way, this is not a tutorial about creating appealing face expressions. This is something that's gonna be from another tutorial. Tutorial. So this is just to make sure you understand how to create organic face expression. Um, Okay, see maybe I exaggerated a little bit too much the upper, um, the upper lids, but I kind of want you to understand um, the concept. Maybe you can squash a tiny bit the the head as well. Okay. Depends. 
Another thing you want to be careful about it is the hair. Usually when, when there is a compression on the jaw, you can slightly move the ear a little bit up. Okay? A tiny bit. Again, it depends how close is the camera to, to your character. Okay? You want to consider all those things. So now that we're going to this other one, uh, again, in this case, I want to drop the, the jaw. Okay? I want to make sure I'm pulling out the, the lips here. Maybe you can exaggerate the, the roll. Okay. Pushing down a little bit. Not too much. You see, you see how, how everything is much more organic now. Again, this is another extreme. So first things I want you to, to be careful about it. Um, you see how actually there is this distance between the corner of the mouth and the teeth. So actually I like to uh, adjust that one. Oops, way too much, okay? I like to do that. Uh, then maybe you want to exaggerate it with this one, okay, a little bit more. You can push down the teeth if you want. Um, and usually when I open the jaw that much, uh, I kind of want to go uh, inside with the with the cheek, okay, here and drop them. Okay. Same with the here again. And again, usually when you open the mouth like this, when you open the corner of the lips like this, you wanna kinda um, roll inside a little bit, not too much, okay? Maybe you can push it a little bit. And I would suggest in this case, you see, when you when you animate the face, you wanna think in the face like everything is connected. So usually, if you have like a stretch on the on the lower part of the face, you kinda wanna have the same for the upper part. So maybe you can push a little bit more those um, those eyebrows, okay? Pushing a tiny bit the head as well. And having like really wide open eyes. Okay, so make sure. And if you want, you can still open a bit more the, the jaw, it's up to you. And again, you look again. Maybe this one, you see, you're opening. Actually, on, on this one, you can push a little bit lower. And when you're actually opening, a little bit more like this. And then again, this one can be another compression, okay? So, you can compress this one. You can actually scale it if you need it. If you feel like you need like a more exaggerated face expression, don't be afraid to scale it. In this case, you can definitely push those those controller, okay? Okay, make sure that it's not too much gap between the lips and the teeth. You 
really want to push the skin under Push it a bit more. I mean, they here going up. And maybe here on the previous one, we can push them lower. And then with the last one, okay. With this one, you can really have fun and really push this one down here. Okay, really make it really cartoon and funny. Not sure we can, we can squash, yeah, we can squash a little bit the nose. Okay, push this one inside. So if you take a look now, the final result is much more organic, okay? So you can see that all the muscles of the face are all connected together. So when the, the mouth is opening up and going down, the nose is dropping. When it's co actually compressing, the nose is going up a little bit and the upper part of the face is like a compressing as well. And, and even in this one, you see like how the overall shape of the face is, is actually changing now everything is organic okay so let's take a look again the final result compared to the previous one okay guys i hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and now you can use this technique to actually make your face animation much more organic and please guys if you have any comments or questions drop it and let me know see you next time